hi guys and welcome to my channel Carl of Creativity. So this week's video is going to be a sort of like DIY Halloween or autumn decor video. So I really hope you guys are as hyped for this as I was. Um, I love fall like completely and I think these DIYs are really cute, really simple and cater for like the more cute side of spooky but while still being sort of like traditional-ish I guess um, so yeah I really hope that you enjoy this video and if you do please make sure to subscribe and without further ado let's hop right in heads up this is incredibly sped up because I didn't think you'd want to see the whole long thing but you want to start by grabbing some air drying clay you could use oven baked clay for this but I opted for the air drying clay um, and I'm just breaking a little bit off and sort of moulding it between my hands to make it more workable and pliable. Um, then you want to roll it out and please use a rolling pin for this, I just did not have one so I'm using the side of a mug, um, which did work if you don't have a rolling pin either. Um, and then once you've rolled it out to be about the size or diameter of the um, opening of the mug you want to cut it out so I'm simply pushing against it to make the round outline and then going in with my exacto knife to gently cut away the excess clay around the outsides then you want to peel this away and pop this to one side and try and apply up your circle of clay. Now you want to mend any pieces or like that are cracked or anything. For this I'm just using my X-Acto knife and sort of smudging them across each other before grabbing a little tiny shot glass and sort of just um, applying it round to make the sort of ghost like shape. In the end I did actually just end up using my finger like so and then used my exacto knife to cut out two triangles for the eyes. And something you really want to bear in mind is um, it works a lot better and is a lot easier the bigger circle of clay you start with. And there we are. So the next DIY is super super simple and again it's sped up because it would just be boring otherwise and all you want to do is grab some sharpies and um, basically draw mandala patterns all on your, your pumpkin. So I started off by doing like little scallops and then did some swirls as you can see here um, and then did some more like sort of scallopy shapes around. Um, the sky really is the limit. Um, you can do whatever you want, um, but it's just a really pretty sort of way of decorating for autumn or Halloween because I don't really like the scary stuff and this just looks so so pretty. So yeah. I ended up going about a quarter of the way down and there we are. For the next DIY you want to grab yourself some fabric and some thread and a needle and all you want to do is start by sewing around in a circle. So I'm just doing a normal like under over stitch. Um, for this and you don't want to do like a back stitch or anything because um, you want to be able to pull the thread so it gathers 
Um, so I'm just carrying on doing my um, circle. Again, obviously the bigger the circle, the bigger the pumpkin will be in the end. Um, and you just want to keep going round and round and you can do this for whatever fabric um, as you can see this is a sort of chiffon -y fabric and I also did it with some jean off cuts so the sky really is the limit once you've got pretty much all the way round you can cut off any of the excess fabric and then simply pull the thread like together so that it bunches. I also added some stuffing just from an old pillow inside and a little stick for the like stalk of the pumpkin um, and then just tied off the threads around the stick um, into a knot. And as you can see here, I pulled the, the thread a little bit too tightly and my thread broke, so I had to really go back in with the needle and sew the thread again, but that wasn't any trouble. Um, just be very wary of the quality of thread you're using, because obviously the better wax sort of thread will hold up a lot better. So once you have tied your knot round your stick, there we are. So the next DIY you want to start by grabbing a piece of black paper that's big enough to fit in your photo frame um, and then I'm just sketching out a sort of spider's web in the corner before grabbing some PVA glue and painting along the lines and then sticking string to where I've glued. You want to do this for every single strand. Um, again, this is a really simple DIY. It's just a little bit time consuming, but I think the results are so, so good that it's definitely worth it. So once you have glued all of your main um, strands, you want to start by doing the sort of like scallopy bits in between. and sort of just manipulate the string with your fingers or the end of your paintbrush um, whatever really works best for you but as I say it's really quite simple to do and yeah you just want to carry on doing the scallops I only did the scallops for a portion of my um, lines I didn't go all the way down with them um, and I really like the effect that that gave obviously you can do whatever you can make this like the whole page and go with the scallops across the whole page but I kind of just liked it being in the top right corner um, so yeah and there we are Thanks for watching this video guys, I really hope that you enjoyed all the DIYs that I've shown you today. Um, if you did, please make sure to subscribe or comment down below any future video requests. As of next week, I will be starting two new series on the channel, um, one going up on the Tuesdays and one going up on the Sundays. So the Tuesdays ones will be the start of my like home tour series sort of thing because I recently moved, well I say recently, it was like a month ago now. Um, and then the Sundays I'm going to be bringing you a series of mini makes. So make sure to stay tuned for that. And without further ado, I will see you guys next time. Bye.